Yeah, what you expect from you both, you obey the instructions at all times. When I tell you a break, you both break clean. Defend yourselves at all times, and the best of luck to you both. Touch those hands. Hold on. It's the one and only time you really hear him referred to with his full handle of Ukashir Farouk. He's Kash Farouk, and uh, he means business. And I think you could tell that on his way to the ring. Two different styles of arrival. There was effervescence about Kyle Williams on his way into the boxing ring. But uh, there was just that steely determination as he came in for uh, Kash Farouk. Here we go, Alex. Yeah. Looks up for it, doesn't he? Eleven fights, eleven wins for that cash for the four knockouts. No more spectacular than uh, what happened here in September when uh, challenger Jimmy Wilson that night was stopped inside 73 seconds. Both guys still trying to find their ground, find their feet. Try and get the edge. Cash always in a good position to punch. He's got very good and underrated feet work. Kyle Williams, the kickboxer turned boxer. He was a British European and the world champion at, uh, at kickboxing. Yeah. And uh, I think he's admitted himself it's been a tricky transition. Yeah. Totally different sports altogether, Rob. Um, one often doesn't carry over into the next. And uh, you can see that with both guys' feet work. You know, um, Cash for out really steady. Feet are solid under him. But Williams a little bit herky jerky, still not quite found his feet yet or his balance. He can't certainly move like this for 12 rounds. What you very quickly detect here is that there is vociferous support for uh, Williams here. A big travelling party from Wolverhampton, and as he predicted himself, they are making plenty of noise. And he said his mother would be the noisiest of a lot of them as well. <laughs> But plenty of uh, solid support here tonight for, for good Cash body puncher, Very good body puncher from Cash Farouk, picking some gaps around the side of Williams' elbows. Very, very intelligent start by Cash Farouk. Very intelligent start. Great head movement from Cash Farouk as well. He's looking like a real solid little pro now. to be a little bit busy raise jab. There you go. Just what I was talking about. Close the distance down. He's 23 cash, Williams 27. There is that differential in terms of that uh, of experience and, and William is saying going into this he just wondered whether maturity uh, might edge it for him. Yeah. Good first round. Well, it was eagerly anticipated, wasn't it, this fight? And, and I don't think round one disappointed us one uh, little bit, Alex. No, it was a really impressive start um, from Cash Farouk. I liked a lot of the things that he'd done in that round. Uh, one or two good solid jabs just to get him close. And then some really impressive body punching. Like I said earlier, always in a position to punch Cash Farouk. His feet are always solid under him. And there was some really impressive head movement there in that round as well. Managing to ride and deflect lots of Williams' hooks and and uppercuts. Really impressive. Good first round from Cash for it. Good start. Almost 10 seconds. We're scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds. And this is round two. Cash for it, mixing up his uh, preparation for this with some Sparring in Liverpool, he was down there last month just to change the scenery a little. Yeah. Sparring with some unbeaten opponents down there just to get him right for this. Yeah, it's always good for young fighters to get a bit of variety in their training and even in their surroundings, Rob, it's very, very good for them. Helps them to adapt. And 
deal with different styles and different environments, which of course they're going to be competing in at some point. The voice of Alex Arthur, a boxing champion himself. Williams under a bit of pressure. Yeah, some good punch picker from Kasparukis. Being very patient, very calculated and clinical. I'm really impressed with his head movement tonight as well. Both guys very lean, both in great condition. You can tell with their, uh, their body fat percentages. See more body fat on a, on a nail than what's on both these guys. Both weighed in at 117 pounds. Both run about five foot five. It's a good contest. Second defence of his uh, British Bantamweight title. This the first one against Ian Butcher of uh, Motherwell back in November. That was in the Emirates. And you know, went the 12 rounds that one. Yeah. These body shots from Kashfaruk uh, have got a feeling, Rob, that they're gonna they're gonna start catching up on Williams in the later part of this fight. If the fight goes past seven or eight rounds, I think we're gonna see Williams slowing down quite dramatically. Um, Kasparuk is targeting the body and he's making it a real a real target and he's he's going over those spots time and time again. He's finding gaps, he's uh he's doubling up with the with the body shots with the same hand as well, and then he'll switch up to the head. It's um, very effective tactics on Kasparuk and ones that'll pay off later on. The first fight of the night on the undercard ended very quickly. Boris Crichton from Aberdeen with another impressive win. Nathaniel Collins had to stick at it against Jose Hernandez in, in his bout, but two Scottish victories, two very different types of, of victory. Oh, and, uh, that's a great hook from Kasparu. Well, I was talking about the fight going longer and perhaps uh, Williams slowing down, but it might not be the case if he keeps taking shots like that. Right at the end of the round, and a wry smile on the face of Kyle Williams as he goes back to the corner. I think Alex and I were both talking towards a, a fight that might well go the distance. It might well be a long player, this one. But uh, that explosive hit from Kash Farouk may have just changed the landscape. Maybe not even so much a distance, Rob, but I was, what, what, what I was pointing at was if the fight does go to the later rounds, the body attacks from Kash Farouk are going to pay dividends in the later rounds um, when Kyle Williams, you know, he will not have the energy in his body to keep running around in that fashion. I think he was in the process of punching as well. I think a little bit of weight. Um, Kyle Williams took a little bit of weight with him, but that was certainly a very clean and effective shot. I think the fact that he was swinging with a wild left hook helped take him down a little bit. I think, I think we all remember that right hand that downed Jamie Wilson. Yeah. Uh, in, back in yeah. September, yeah. bit special. Very, very special, beautifully picked shot. And it was that fight, of course, which uh, which gave Kash Farouk the British Bantamweight crown. An all Scottish tussle that one was. This is Scotland against England, and uh, he likes that aspect about it. Kash Farouk gives it an extra bit of needle, he reckons. Yeah. I like the way he started this round. He started this round with a really stiff prod and jab, really, really effective. It helps set the tone for the rest of the round. He's a lot, being a little bit busy with his jab, you know, I really, really like to see. That, that'll be very, very effective for Cash. And he started this round pretty much the way he finished the last one. Yeah, yeah. As this, uh, as this fight goes on, that jab could play a big part in opening up Williams and finding different avenues that, that Cash can catch him with his bigger and cleaner shots rather than deliberate body attacks over and over. Getting some really good shots away now, the Scottish boxer. Some fantastic head movement as well. He really is looking the part now, Cash for it. 
born in Pakistan, raised in Scotland. And he is looking like a very exciting boxing talent. Yeah, some great punch picking from Cash Farouk that we're seeing here tonight. Yeah, he's very cool in, in the corner when he's under attack as well. He's seeing all Williams' shots coming. His punch variety is way, way better than Williams as well. He's not even breathing, Cash Farouk, he's so calm. He's compact, he's composed. Yeah. He's got great balance as well, Rob, and actually he's got very good footwork, which he's uh, never looked upon, um, but his footwork's brilliant. He's always on, on, on position to punch, he's, he's always on balance, he can always let go with something, Cash Farouk. Boxing with real purpose here, the 23-year-old Cash Farouk. Some fantastic movement as well. He's turning on the style. He really is taking charge of this now, Cash. As round three comes to an end. Another very dominant round from Cash for it. Well, it was a very determined walk to the ring to start the night. And then it was down to business. A solid start, but he's just getting better and better with each passing round. He's, he's taken some hits, but he's come back with a whole lot more. Yeah, you can see again how cool he is under pressure as well. He's in total control here now, um, and was before the knockdown, but way more so now. He's very, very confident now in himself as well, and um, I think we're going to see the best of Cash Farouk over the next couple of rounds. Scotland, of course, has another very exciting prospect in the bantamweight division, the Commonwealth title holder, Lee McGregor from Edinburgh, and that's going to be a, an interesting little get-together when that one comes around. That most certainly will. What a fight that will be, and already being talked about. In fact, it's been talked about for quite some time now. Um, that's going to be, and, 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 and is the biggest fight in Scotland, in my opinion. Kyle Williams clearly here is trying to turn the tide. He'll feel that the fight has started slipping away from him yeah, at this stage. Certainly well, yeah, he was, um, he was very much dominated uh, in the last round. Um, Cash can't afford really to take his foot off the gas, he has to maintain control, uh, keep controlling the pace, and uh, really, really focus on getting back on his jab again because that was the, that was the punch that started to open up Williams. It's still a bit, little bit early in the day to be going looking for lead right hands and good body shots from Cash. Very good head movement as well. Three right hooks around the ear. Everyone landed as well. Very accurate puncher as well, Cash Farouk. Good shot from Kyle Williams, but Cash comes straight back with a right hand and a left hook. Good, nice pressure from Cash there. Closing down the distance really well. Doesn't even need to be loading up on his punches, Cash. When he's up there, he just has to pick his spots and let his hands go. But still very much in control here. Yeah, there was a flurry from Kyle Williams, wasn't there, at the start of the round. But uh, he just soaked it up and uh, and he's back in charge again now. Yeah, looks dominant again.
Williams looking a little bit more positive though than he was in the last couple of rounds. Into good. the last 30 seconds yeah. of the fourth round. And very good punch picking uh, there again, Rob, from Cash. You know, he, he noticed that Williams was relatively square, but the head was moving. He sent a stiff jab right down to Williams' body because he knows that the body doesn't move. It was a really effective jab from Cash. There's that cool, calm head movement while he's, while he's under pressure in the corner. Four rounds into a contest which is uh, scheduled to be 12 three minute rounds. Kyle Williams expected a tough night and he's not been disappointed. Well, he's certainly got that up to now, hasn't he? Cash targeting the body again still, as you can see there. Looking to slow Williams down for the later part of the fight. He just boxes with a lot of purpose, doesn't he, Cash Farouk? He's come into the ring knowing exactly what he wants to do, and then he, he just makes sure it happens. Yeah, he really doesn't he really doesn't waste much at all either. He's very calculated and very precise. He picks his punches very very intelligently. He's taken no time off um, Cash Farouk since his last fight in November. The minute that one was finished with it was back down to business again, almost training and, and looking ahead to this, this next fight. He wants to climb the ladder and he could take an important step forward here tonight against a very experienced Opponent. The Farouk family well represented in here tonight. A couple of tables of uh, family oh, and friends supporting straight a Cash. Low. Straight a little bit low, Rob, that did. Yeah, I felt that one. Yeah. It wasn't even south of the border, it was, it was more south of the equator, that one was. So a little bit I of recovery it, time. Yeah, I think it was unintentional though, if I'm yeah. going to be really honest, Rob. I think uh, he was in the middle of throwing a flurry of punches. A little bit of blood for the, the right cheekbone of Cash for it. I don't know if it's a graze or nothing major. A stumble from Makash. Oh, great body shot from Cash for it. Right hook right round the side. The Williams left elbow. Beautiful jab again. And great head movement, showing some lovely skills in here, Kasharukas. He did an interesting first defence against uh, Ian Butcher at the, at the Emirates Arena, the Motherwell boxer, when uh, he yeah. spit a lot. Oh, that's a good hit. That is a good hit. Going to get back up here, Rob. I'll be really surprised if he does. Yeah, he's feeling it. It's over. Oh, he's back down again. It all ends at the St Andrews Sporting Club and celebrations in the ring as Kyle Williams is floored and unable to get himself back up. It's another explosive performance, this, from Cash Farouk. And his star continues to rise, Alex. Yeah, he went down really quite heavy, Williams there, didn't he? Um, let's just hope he's okay and seeing the doctor now.
Well, it came to a very sudden ending there, didn't it? And uh, all the medical checks have been done, and uh, I think everyone's satisfied that Carl Williams is OK, but what a display again from the Glasgow boxer. Cash for it. Well, here's how it all ended, Alex. Yeah, he walked him onto that right hand, didn't he? Yeah, another couple of clubbing shots around the end. You just can tell sometimes, Rob, from the way that a fighter goes down that he's not mm. quite going to recover. Yeah. And that was right round the side of the ear. And we've seen Williams almost attempt to get back up and then fall back down on his face. And uh, I think from there on in, we knew that he wasn't... Uh, he wasn't going to recover in, in time. Kyle Williams just uh, holding up the hand of acknowledgement and uh, apology to his supporters that uh, he couldn't keep this going a little bit longer, but uh, he wasn't going to get back up from a thudding right hand there from uh, Cash Farouk. Here's the announcement in the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we declare the official result, please your appreciation. Both our boxers in the ring. Our timekeeper Joe Brannan records an official time, two minutes and four seconds of round number five. Referee John Latham stops the contest. His opinion, Kyle Williams in a position to continue. The winner and still the British bantamweight champion, Akasha Faro. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the applause going. A fantastic challenger, Kyle Williams. It's another devastating performance then by uh, Kash Farouk, who now heads towards a third defence of the British bantamweight title.